good morning guys it is officially eight o'clock and it is officially time to start the first two hour vlog so let me just go ahead and kind of show you guys what my setup looks like or what it is that i'm gonna do so everything is on canvas i'm not gonna lie thank god for canvas i just have like my classes the modules on the ipad so we are in we are in lesson four. What I kind of do for one day is I get in as much as I can get in. Honestly, I try to get in everything for that day because I really don't go anywhere. Like, I specifically be online. But, like, this is basically what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to kind of tell y'all what I'm doing. So, I'm going to just kind of guide y'all through it. So, we are on lesson four today. So, as you see, these are the things that I have to do. Um, it just kind of gives you an overview you see we have the the lesson overview and then we have to watch the videos and then we have the study guide then we have lesson four and then we have the lab and then i'm going to have an exam which i'll probably end up doing tomorrow so the learning objective y'all can see what all i need to do so i need to review lesson four i need to read chapter three i need to complete lesson four quiz i need to demonstrate the lab cell structure and function lab activity and i'll show y'all what the lab is when we get there and then i need to complete lesson four lab submission so here's what she does so she gives us a study guide thank god she is like that is so helpful so what i do is i download the study guide and then i will take it into notes and i'll just upload it into notes then it'll pop up so then what i do is i just go in and control c all of it not control but command because you know we got a macbook over here command c all of it and then i place it in my biology notes command v it into my biology notes and so this is basically what the chapter and the videos is going to be over so i have this open on my laptop so then i come to my ipad it was in dark mode but whenever i went to go take the test i could not do it in dark mode so i just was like i can't do this you can open it into safari here but i actually already had it open so i could have just do it but basically i'll just be reading let's see what we're reading today so I interchange, I'm not gonna lie, I interchange. So I have it like open on my laptop, but then I have like the book here because I take notes on the laptop. One thing college has taught me is take online notes. Take online notes in college because it's faster and it's more convenient versus with paper notes. At least with online notes, all your notes and do it on Google. I say do it on Google Docs as well. That way if you need to access it on any other laptop, that is one thing college has taught me because I was taking paper notes at first and I'm like, why well, I can't keep up. So I just moved over to online. I was like, it's that's fine. After we read and we take notes based off the reading, there's going to be like a PowerPoint that is based off of the video that we're going to watch. And we have two videos. I'm sure they're about 15, 13, 15 minutes each. Oh, they're 10 minutes. Okay, they're 10 minutes each. So that, that's decent. After the lecture videos, we got additional resources, but I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I do not watch the additional resources. I realize that these videos, like the Fibia, they do not help me at all. So I'm like, it's no point in me watching it. They're too cartoony for science for me. So when I watch them, I can't take it serious. So I don't be knowing what's really going on for real. We have the quiz, of course. It's a five question quiz. And then they have our lab, which this is pretty fun. But with the lab, I also, I'll also i show y'all what I do with the lab too because I pull it up on my iPad because it's like something else that goes along with it. And I do that on the laptop. And then of course you see, this is the stuff we have to complete for the lab. This is the thing that I pull up on my iPad and I do this part on my iPad. Then once you get down to assignments and procedures, you'll have like your experiment that you do for today. So then there's something else and here's the assignments. And then here is where we do the hands-on activity and everything like that. So it's a lot, don't get me wrong, it's a lot. And then you have the quiz of course. And oh, and this one's eight questions, but we have a quiz of course. And then um, the unit one wrap up and the test and everything. So if I don't do this tonight, I'm definitely gonna do it tomorrow, which depending on how confident I'm feeling, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. Another good thing about online school is that I can leave my bonnet on all day, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it off for this video. But a plus to it is, I'm, I, like if I wasn't recording, my bonnet would just stay on because why not? And plus when I do my lab, I have to put my hair up anyway, so I just put leave the bonnet on. But yeah, that's basically how the day starts or 
that's basically how the day will go. I just kind of play music to ease me or I just had a TV playing in the background just to kind of have that background noise, but that's basically what happens. Also, the reading for today is 3.1 through 3.3, so this is gonna be a lot of reading. So I'm gonna be having the Simpsons playing in the background, so I'll see y'all at 10. I did want to tell y'all before I forget, I would have my eyebrows done, I'm not going to lie, if I was like going at leaving the house and going out the house, but because I'm staying in the house, my I don't I do not do my eyebrows. Another thing I was going to tell y'all is this class takes the entire day. It can take anywhere from six hours depending on how many assignments I have to do. Like each assignment basically takes two hours, but the class is also a four hour class. So it's not a three hour class. It's a four hour class, so that means it includes the lab, and the lab is a whole nother two hours that is added to it, or to my day. So it literally will take the entire day to do. So I did wanna say that. So I got about an hour and 30 minutes on the reading assignment, and then if I'm hungry, we'll go eat. But other than that, just gonna drink my tea. It's still hot, but it tastes good. It got chilly guys, but it is 10. I am done with my reading assignment and I finished my quiz. Now we're on to the lab. Y'all wanna see what I'm working on? This one is a virtual lab and saying, put your slide on the stage and move it around until you can tell there's something interesting in the field of view. Remember that images are inverted. So if you physically move the slide away from you, the specimen will appear to move towards you. Why well, look like the moon? Hold the slide firm, firmly and clamp it into place. Okay, and then we'll go to the next one. I'm just gonna do that till I finish this and then we're gonna be on to this and then we're gonna do the lab. So I am here and we're finna get ready to do the lab. This is the lab kit that we got sent to us. So today we are creating a cell. Um, this is the material that I need to get up out of there. And then uh, this is the stuff that I need to get oh my goodness what do i need a refrigerator for what y'all got me doing for real so i need a permanent marker two reusable bags a bowl several miscellaneous household items warm tap water and a refrigerator so let's go through the procedures it says place four packets of unflavored gelatin in a bowl add four cups of warm water to the bowl do not refrigerate the mixture yet you do not it says, no, you do not need to heat the water in the microwave. Simply run tap water until it feels warm to the touch. With the permanent marker, label one reusable bag as plant cell and the other as animal cells. These bags will serve as cell membranes. Construct the rough endoplasm. Rec how am I, I don't even know how to say that for I ain't gonna lie to you. By stringing 10 beads onto two of the pipe cleaners, five beads of on each. The remaining two pipe cleaners will represent the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Construct a cell wall by forming the aluminum foil into a square shape. The square shape, the square should be large enough to fit one reusable bag when filled with half of the gelatin and some of the cell structure. Using our using your knowledge of the Golgi apparatus and chloroplasts, find two household items that could represent these structures. You will use these in this experiment. Note: colored paper may bleed when placed in gelatin. Open the reusable bag, label plant cell, and pour half of the liquid gelatin into it. Add the items that represent plant cell structures into the gelatin and tightly close the bag. If there is an organelle present in both plant and animal cells, make sure to leave enough to be included in the animal cell reusable bag. 
Place the bag in the aluminum foil cell wall. Open the reusable bag label animal cell and pour the remaining half of the liquid into gelatin in it. Add the items that represent animal cell structure into gelatin and tightly close the bag. Place both cells in the refrigerator for 24 hours. After 24 hours, observe the cells that you have made. Note the difference between the animal cell and the plant cell. Okay. Oh, y'all. So, let me tell you. So, while well, I break the glass, like, so... In the last experiment, we had these glass, I forgot what these are called, but we had the glass ones. Why the glass fall? It broke on the floor. Yeah, I wasn't mad or upset, but I was just like, that's, that's wild. So here are my animal and my plant cells. <laughs> I placed the bags into the refrigerator. They're good to go. It is basically 12 o'clock. It's 11.56, but I'm hungry. So we're gonna go to salad and go. Let's go. Yeah, I probably gonna get, I don't really like their drinks, but I know I want a salad right now. And a buffalo salad actually sounds really good right now. It's gonna, it's gonna be what we're gonna go get. Welcome to Salad and Go. We'll be with you in just a moment. Yes, please. All right, we'll have that ready for you. Thank you. I feel like I just cut it in front of the blue car, so now if somebody like gets their food before me, I won't ever feel bad again. Thank you. Okay, food. Got food. I got both. I got a burrito and a and a salad. Gotta take the tomatoes off, but they ranch is in there. The fork. I'm finna eat and take my test, and then I leave the burrito for whenever I get hungry. But yeah, guys, that's basically how the day goes. I'm done with everything else. Um, the last thing I have to do is the wrap up and the test, but the test is a 90 minute exam and then you still got to complete the review sheet. So I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Because if y'all want to see the finished product of the, of my sales, <laughs> of my sales that I was told to create, I probably, if I don't leave them at the end of this video, they will definitely be in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. Make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button on the screen or down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend so they can tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend.
And yeah, I don't really got anything else to say. So I will catch y'all in the next one.